Hi, in this video I'm going to uh, talk about the margin of safety. Um, so, margin of safety is one of the key terms you have to know. Really easy. Um, so, uh, this is the very simple example that uh, I've used in the previous video to construct a break even chart. Um, you can see that uh, the break even point is 2000 units where total revenue equals total cost. I've just used these simple figures up here, assuming the fixed cost of 40,000, a selling price of 40 pounds for each unit we're selling, and uh, 20 pounds uh, variable cost. So you put them together and you will get um, something that looks like this. Um, this is what every single break even chart would look like. Uh, you may not plot all the lines in an exam question, I may not ask you to plot all the lines. Uh, but the derivation of the lines, i.e. Uh, variable costs and total revenue start at zero, and I've explained why in a previous video, uh, 40,000, um, sorry, fixed costs uh, will um, always be a horizontal line, um, and the total costs will start um, at uh, zero, and the point fixed costs, and I'll explain why that is, um, total revenue, um, uh, and total costs, the key things, and the break-even point is where your total revenue is equal to total costs. It's an important point because if you sell less than 2,000 units, in this case, the break-even point, you can see quite clearly that the total costs are higher than the total revenue. Um, and as soon as we get over uh, 2,000, then the total revenue exceeds the total cost, and we're making a profit. So that's great. So... Um, there's the formula for break-even output uh, to calculate it even more quickly if you've got the information about the fixed cost and the contribution per unit, which you uh, will do. Um, but margin of safety is what this video is about. Uh, the margin of safety is the difference between the forecasted, the number of forecasted sales and a business's break-even output. So, in other words, um, uh, you know, the business thinks, okay, let's, let's just say that uh, a business thinks they're going to sell a thousand units, their break-even output is 800. Is that a viable product? Well, um, possibly there's a margin of safety there of 200 units. Um, the formula to calculate the margin of safety is forecast sales minus break-even output. So let's just have a look at that on here. So let's just assume our break-even output, as we can see, is 2,000. Let's say we've done some market research and we think we're going to be able to sell uh, 3,000 units of this product. So um, there's the difference between 2,000 and 3,000. That's our margin of safety. Um, and uh, yeah, so the, uh, it's the difference, we think we're going to sell 3,000 units. Um, uh, the break-even point is 2,000. So let's just say we've got our sales forecast wrong. Uh, we have a bad day at the office and we sell 2,500 units. Well, that's not great news, but at least we've broken even and in fact are even still making a profit, even if our sales figures are uh, our forecast sales are somewhat out. Um, so uh, that's why margin of safety is important. So um, you can calculate it, forecast sales 3,000, breaking down to 2,000. Our margin of safety is 1,000 units. Um, you know, and obviously businesses will want some margin of safety because of the um, unpredictable nature of uh, sales and um, you know, the, the need potentially to discount some units in order to sell them. So it's important to have a margin of safety um, in order to uh, be confident of making a profit on your product. Okay, so fairly easy uh, margin of safety.